2000 S40 ball joints instead of having to pay for the entire arm. Ball joints are only 20 bucks on eBay as opposed to 50 bucks a piece on, uh, you know, to replace the whole stabilizer. So I used a piece of the tubing that fits over the bottom of the ball joint here against the, the arm itself. You don't want to press against the, bear, the, the ball joint. So you put that down in your press. Then there's another piece of tubing that fits right over the ball joint on the middle. Right now I've got the boot here in place. I've already installed it and I'll show you how to do that. This goes in there, boom. Put it in the press, press it right out. Ball joint pops out, no problem. Then when you go to install it, use the same big large piece of tubing on the bottom side. Stick that on there so that tubing is centered on the arm. Then there's another piece of tubing that I got from Industrial Metal Supply, patents, wherever you want to go, that fits the actual ring on the ball joint, the outer ring on the ball joint. This tubing fits on here perfectly. Yeah, see? See how it's straight? There's no gaps. That way it goes on there nice and tight. Put it in the press, press it on, no problem. Then you install your snap ring. There's a snap ring that gets installed here. And then for the boot, what I used was a one an inch and an eighth socket. You stick the inch and eighth socket all the way over it so it pushes the second lip of the boot and it allows the outside lip here to expand over the ball joint and I used this piece of tubing, the small piece of tubing, put it down on the ground, smacked it a few times with a hammer and it pushed that boot right over. You could probably press it on too. I just want, I, I didn't mind using the hammer just for a boot but if you can see the boot is perfect and this is done ready to be installed